is your Palworld controller not working, then you are at the right place. We have got some easy ways that you can use to fix this issue. Welcome back to Silicophilic, your go-to source for tech tips and fixes. Method 1. Restart your PC. When the controller is not connecting, first close the game and restart your PC. To do so, exit the game, close all the running programs and open files. Then restart your PC, relaunch the game and see if this could fix the issue. Method 2. Reconnect the controller. You can also disconnect the controller from your PC. Wait for a couple of minutes and then reconnect it back. Now check if it is working. Method 3. Disable or enable Steam input. If you are facing issues with your PlayStation controller, then enable or disable Steam input, which can potentially resolve compatibility issues. First, make sure the PlayStation controller is connected to your PC via a wired connection. Confirm that Steam properly detects your controller by opening Steam. To do that, navigate to Steam library and right-click on PAL World. In the Properties window, click on the Controller tab and find the drop-down menu next to Override for PAL World. Select Disable Steam Input from the menu if it is enabled. You can also enable the option if it is disabled. This activates the Steam input feature for your PlayStation controller. Restart Steam, then launch the game and check. Method 4. Remap Key Bindings The next thing we are going to do is remap key bindings. To do that, press the escape key on your keyboard or alternatively use the select button on the controller. This will grant you access to the Options tab, where you can reconfigure the key bindings. Modify the key bindings. This can address any conflicts or inconsistencies associated with your controller inputs. Method 5. Update the USB driver. In case you are using a USB controller, update the driver. Sometimes due to outdated drivers, the POP controller may not work. Updating the drivers can fix the issue. Method 6. Reconnect the controller to a different port. Sometimes the port where you are connecting the controller can be faulty. This can be the reason why it is not working. So connect it to a different port and check if it works now. You can use a 3.0 USB port if your controller is new. Method 7. Unplug external peripherals attached to the system. You should also make sure to unplug any accessories attached to your PC. These accessories may conflict with the controller you are using and create issues. So detach the attached accessories then check if the controller works now. Method 8. Check the controller settings in Steam. Open Steam settings. Open controller. Click on the Begin Test button next to Test Device Inputs. Begin the test to check if Steam has detected your controller and it's working. Make sure to turn on the feature for the controller you are using. Turn on Enable Steam Input for generic controllers. If you are using an Xbox controller, turn on Enable Steam Input for Xbox controllers. Also, set the idle gamepad shutdown timeout is set to Never. Because if it is set to a given time period, the controller will shut down after that particular time and it will not be working. So set it to never. Once done, click on the download tab from the left pane. The click on the clear cache button next to clear download cache. Click on confirm. Once the cache is cleared, restart Steam. Method 9. Run Steam and the game with administrative privileges. The next thing you can do is run the game as well as Steam as administrators. So go to the game installation folder, right click on the game EXE and open its properties. Head to the compatibility tab. Check the box for run this program as an administrator. Click on apply and
and then on OK. You can also run Steam as an administrator and then launch the game. To do that, go to the Steam installation folder, right click on the Steam EXE and open its properties. Head to the compatibility tab. Check the box for run this program as an administrator. Click on apply and then on OK. Now launch the game and check. Method 10. Change the compatibility mode. Open the game properties as shown in the previous step. Then go to the compatibility tab. Check the box for run this program in compatibility mode for the option. Select a Windows version and click on apply and then on OK. Method 11. Verify the game files. Missing or corrupted game files can also cause these sort of issues. So verify the game files. Here is how you can verify the integrity of the game files from Steam platform. Head to the Steam library. Right click on the game and open its properties. Go to the installed files tab and click on the verify integrity of the game files option. Wait till Steam verifies the game files and download the missing file or fix the corrupted game files. Once done, launch the game and check. Method 12. Check the battery of the controller. Make sure your controller battery is charged. If the battery in your controller is almost dead, the controller will not work. To check your controller battery life, hold the PS button to bring up the quick menu on the left side of the screen. You will see a controller icon with battery life displayed at the bottom. After your controller changes for time, try using it as normal. Method 13. Move the controller closer to the system. Make sure the controller is not far away from the system on which you are playing PAL Vault. The typical range for Bluetooth is around 30 feet. This depends upon your setup. You may be able to use your controller further than this or be restricted to using it closer. So, you should try to minimize interference between your controller and console. Remove any metal objects between the two like shelving or laptops. That could inhibit the signal. You should also take your PS4 out of enclosed spaces, if applicable, for better signal transmission and reception. Method 14. Request for a repair. If the previous fixes didn't help you, then you can contact the PlayStation team for a repair of the controller. So visit the official PS repairing page and choose the right options to convey your problem. And there you have it. We hope one of these methods has worked for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and troubleshooting guides.